This is chapter number nine, the making of regional cultures. So we talked about Jagannath Temple, Puri, how this temple town developed. Now we'll talk about Rajputs and the traditions of heroism, the valor, the power. The love, the friendship, everything is related to Rajput. Let me show you the area we are talking about. This is the Rajputana area at that time. Ajmer is the capital of that Rajputana. Right now, Ajmer is very famous for a shrine. I want you to name me that shrine or Darga. So, in the 19th century, which is today's Rajasthan, Rajasthan is one of the states. And the Britishers at this time, they were calling this area as Rajputana. They were calling this region as Rajputana. We have Rajputana rifles, proper regiment in our Indian Defense Army, Rajputana rifles. Now, this is what is being thought that this area is mainly inhabited by Rajputs. Only Rajput. Rajput means what? Means the son of a Raja, of a king or a powerful man, Rajput. So this is how this word has came. And this is not true that this whole area is only having these Rajputs only. There were different kind of caste, creed, religion people they were living. But the Rajputs have the, a very you know, important effect on this area also, the history. They have a name. They have a different culture that is this whole area is influenced, the culture of this area is influenced by, is affected by, is termed to be the culture of Rajputs. So let us take uh, the 8th century, let us start work from that time. The present day of Rajasthan, it was ruled by various Rajput uh, families like Chauhan family, Solanki families. That is, these are different dynasties at this time. If you remember, I, I always tell you 8 to 12, this is pre-medieval era. So, various Rajputs uh, dynasties evolved. And we should talk about Prithviraj Chauhan. And he, why he is uh, so famous and he was one of the important ruler of uh, Rajput. You know, Rajput when they fight, when they, they are in the battlefield, they always either either win or they die. That is, they will never come back with their feet, that is the back, on the other partner or the warrior side. So this Prithvira Chauhan, he was the last ruler of Chauhan or Chahaman dynasty. And he was the, he was the person who sat on the throne, Singhasan, of Delhi and during his Shasan Kal, his reign, Muhammad Gauri, Sultan Muhammad Gauri, he invaded India. It was 1991 and there was a famous battle of Tarain, Tarain. and uh, this, this battle Prithviraj won but the next year Muhammad Gauri, he defeated Prithviraj Chauhan and Prithviraj Chauhan as we know, he died in the battle. Okay, this Tarain is near Thanesar in present day Haryana. So, this Chahamara dynasty it has a very big uh, regime, and he was also called as Rai Pithora, Prithira Chauhan. And he was an Indian king and he ruled Sapadalaksha. That is, that was the that is the conventional traditional Chahaman territory. And if we talk about today, it's, it was extended to Rajasthan, Haryana, Delhi, some part of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. And his capital was, as I just said, Ajaya Meru, Ajaya Meru, and that is today's Ajmer. Famous shrine of Fazya Moridun Chishti, Darga is there. So, what was very special about this, that they have a lot of stories to be told about. Kahaniya. There are so many uh, poems, different art, means uh, their literary form, that was talking about their power, their loyalty, their friendship, their love, valor, anger. So all these poems 
were written and it was recited by sung by special trained people who are called minstrels minstrels bhat we call them so minstrels they used to recite them and why they were reciting them it was expected that whosoever is in the rich rajput uh, family or whosoever belongs to that region or area who or whosoever listens to it he or she gets inspired by it inspired by it influenced by it so the dramatic depiction of all these which was about the rajputs the ordinary people they also get attracted by the dramatic dramatic way or in a drama way these all things are presented to them and these dramas were almost true so you can you can take an example of various movies we have so a uh, rajput which has a proper you know uh, sanskriti your culture so what are to be shown in this uh, drama they used to show the loyalty that is friendship friendship that is a very true friendship these rajputs will do with they will always remain remain loyal to their masters then we have love love emotions mohammad mohabbat jang mein sab jaiz hai love love valor valor shorya that is the power will remain intact anger anger is not about you know you know fighting with people anger is about living it you know do you have you are in a battlefield or you have to save god in area so if you see various movies like you know especially the bhansali's movies like padmavat etc you will always see there is a women involved and in in world also jar zoru zameen these are the three key points reasons why every crime happens jar zoru zameen that is money wife or girl and the land so the women in this in this region or this this poems etc it's being said that the women were following the idea of what their men were doing or the men would do what the women were beautiful so they wanted to even either protect them their women or they want to win another woman somebody's women or some other women so they wanted that girl or women so they wanted to win or protect and they used to fight for that and most of the women you know rajput women they also have that uh, blood so they would do everything uh, what their husbands they used to do that is the heroism of their husbands either in life or death you see they, they they may fight they may fight for them if they die or if they die what they will do they will do practice of sati that is also called johar that is you know in the funeral in the fire they will just sit or they will just uh, jump so raja ram mohan rai later on he, he abolished uh, he tried everything to abolish the sati pratha and can you imagine that a man who has died and a woman is forced to or by she by herself you know become sati she also gets burned in this fire and this used to happen in the past can you imagine this so these these are all you know you the things which you need to understand that you shouldn't do this you shouldn't uh, you know go into all these just think logically these were bad things but this happened in history basic thing was you had to pay for your life you marenge or marenge like this now let us change the topic to the dance okay kathak i'll show you and i'll tell you these are different forms classical forms of dance in india and these dance have long history this has not just come like if you go to you know other parts zumba and uh, other dance like ballet they have a culture they have a sanskriti so when we talk about kathak who what was kathak basically the, kathak was the name of a tribe it was name of a tribe and these tribe would go to temple or different places mainly temple and they would present a story they would present a katha katha through what gestures through songs through their body through their face through their emotions so they would go to temples with their haw bhav 
bhava bhangima see if, if these women are actually showing kathak with their gestures so this kathak was a name of the tribe and this kathak shabd has come from katha katha what is katha katha means story it's a story kahani kahani right katha kahani so this kathak has come from this this word kathak which was actually the name of the tribe so this is all about gestures this is all about showing or presenting yourself in such a way that you are trying to tell a story with your body with your body so when we when i take you to the 15th and 16th century there was bhakti movement you know there were different streams of bhakti movement and uh, let me take an example of radha krishna you know what what do you say when when you in bhakti movement mostly people say that the way i love my wife or a girl or a or a lover the same way i lo i love my my god that is the the intensity which with i love my girl that is how i love my god so radha krishna they were not husband and wife they were just uh, lovers and the way they love it was called it was the so intimate love so so they were in, into one another means love it was called as ras leela ras leela it was ras leela means making making uh, you know the other as your god and loving them so this was a part of bhakti movement bhakti movement so now this radha krishna this this folk dance ras leela when it got combined with the the kathak storytellers because kathak story storytellers were all about gestures of the hand and the body so this folk and kathak combined and then this kathak took a very new new shaili if you see that how these women has put their hand the way they have put their hand or place their hand they also have a specific reason for this in the in this dance that is it's not about gowinda or mithun chakravarti dance it's about everything is well organized and defined so this was very good at that time but it went up to the highest level under the mogal era mogal emperors and also their big people like we call them as abhijat varg or nobles now the people who used to perform kathak in front of uh, these in the court and this dance now took a very very different flavor in this mogal mogal emperors court so it the level increase higher so the kathak because as i said because of this uh, coming to mogal uh, court it took a very different shape and it became very uh, more refined and this dance form basically gone to different gharanas gharana means your forefather then your father then you uh, your father for forefather sings then your father sings then you sing then your son will sing so what does it mean it's a gharana then that is uh you know genealogically or traditionally you are singing only so that you are from a gharana so this gharana uh, basically kathak went to two different gharana stream where it flourished it developed so one of them was rajasthan it was rajasthan basically it was jaipur and first uh, gharana or that uh, tradition culture was developed here and second was the the lucknow lucknow basically lucknow comes in avadh avadh region that is the end part of uh, up right now so this lucknow and avadh and rajasthan jaipur as is, as i'm saying that this person which you see here this uh, wajid ali shah he was the last nawab of avadh sultan wajid wajid ali shah nawab of avadh and one of the movie i have seen and he was dancing he was shown dancing he was so into this kathak that wadi wajid ali shah was also dancing kathak and this he actually under his patronized way he under his sangrakshan this grew again in a major art form art form and there is word one word called enter that is hindi called sthapit so at this time this dance flourished so much it was imbibed and accepted so much dance so much so the last quarter of 19th century around 1875 you can say so this dance not only remained in the these two or few gharanas this dance propagated 
spread because of the the uh, you know the style it has it went to punjab haryana jammu and kashmir bihar madhya pradesh so let me show you here this dance got famous and accepted in all these areas which you see okay it spread from these two gharanas to different places and the most important part is that you need a very rapid very intricate rapid footwork you know if you see the dance you will see a women taking round and round round hundred times this is a rapid uh, footwork every foot is well has to be well placed it has to be elegant the costumes the dresses are very fine and beautiful you know has a special uh, attention when you see if you see kathakali you can say that okay this is kathakali because of the costume and the basic idea that everything was about showing the story showing the enacting the story with your hand with your face with your dance with your footwork you are what you are doing you are actually telling a story okay so footwork costume and enactment of stories this make it more intricate so the kathak and not only kathak every every other cultural practices which were followed by indians the britishers were not very happy about it they were not in favor about it so the british administrator they didn't like this kathak but still kathak it remained it survived and it continued to be performed and finally finally when we got independence there were six classical forms which were recognized and these one of these were kathak one of these were kathak six after independence but now we have eight classical dance forms please remember these are not only six dance form right now if you are very you know you are very into gk you must understand there are eight six classical form classical film forms means they were are class classical they are different they have a long history so this is these are the eight classical dance form of india and they are developed in different region so these were six earlier and now we have eight let me tell you again and again this now has become eight six then eight right and every dance has a different flavor different ambience different way of performance okay so let me tell you this one uh, bharatanatyam it developed in tamil nadu bharatanatyam in tamil nadu then kathakali kathakali where kerala kerala kathakali kerala odishi odishi where odisha odisha odishi odisha then coming to kuchipudi 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 andhra pradesh andhra pradesh kuchipudi andhra pradesh then coming to manipuri as the name suggests manipuri where manipur manipur then there are two more one is mohiniattam the other is satharia mohiniattam and satharia mohiniattam is also the southern india dance basically kerala era, uh, region and satharia is assamese is from assam and that that region not northern uh, northeast region okay so all these dance all these eight are the dances which are classical form accepted in india now we talked about what we talked about malayalam cheer and malayalam then we talked about rajput then we talked about different this dance form now let us take one more aspect of culture and sanskriti that is the painting very miniatures and this we are going to talk in the next discussion okay then thank you so much take care of yourself